What's up everyone? All right, today I'm going to show you how to solve the Pyramix. Um, quick announcement, it is December 31st, 2019, so Happy New Year. Uh, you could be the first one to watch this video, and if you do, congratulations. There's no prize, but uh, you're a real cool person. If you are that person, that's cool. Um, okay, so let's get started. Before we start, um, there's just a few things I need to point out about the Pyramix. Um, first, I'm going to call this bottom section. That's uh, touching my counter uh, the the a uh, layer okay so um, just want to point that out real quick also if you look there's a pyramid it's not a really pyramid but um, a three-sided I don't think is actually technically a pyramid I'm not sure so you can correct me if I'm wrong but uh, there's really three pyramids there's a the big pyramid this mini pyramid on top and then the super mirrored mini pyramid on top so that's the only way you can turn this puzzle um, is in pyramids like this, like this, or like these little super mini pyramids, okay? And then um, there's a couple algorithms. There's only two algorithms you really need to know for this. And uh, one of them's very, very easy. So I really only think there's really um, not a lot of memorization here. But if you, do, when, if you need to memorize these algorithms, I have written them down for you and I'll show them to you on the screen. Um, but you need to understand how they work, okay? When I say F, I'm going to refer to F as the front, and this would be the front. Turning the front clockwise would be regular F. Turning the front counterclockwise would be F prime, like this, okay? This would be right, right clockwise, right counterclockwise, left clockwise, left counterclockwise, and then lastly, up clockwise and uh, up counterclockwise. So um, F prime, when I say prime, it looks like this, prime, and then F. So same with all of the letters, but F, like I said, is clockwise like this. And then F prime would be counterclockwise like this, okay? I'll always keep the cube oriented like this, or I'll try my best to keep it oriented like this and in frame, of course, but I'm not perfect. So Okay, so here are the four steps to solve the um, pyramid. Okay, let's start with step one, corners. There's four corners. I should have written points, but I'm not going to make a new card, so bear with me. Um, points. Um, already I'm not in frame. So check this out. Here's a point, the super mini pyramid. Okay, it just turns like this. Uh, you just want to match up to make diamonds on every point of the, your pyramid. So... Uh, it's the easiest step. Okay, look there. Just turn it till it matches. And it, once you match one side, it'll match all the sides. Let's go to the next point. Oh, that one's done already. Let's go to the next point. Oops. Oh, look, that one's done already. Or now it's done. Okay, and then last one. Boom. Okay, so that was step one. Super easy. There's just three more to go. Um, the next step is uh, solve for the Mishibishi logo. If you don't know what the Mishibishi logo looks like, it looks like this. It's a really bad drawing, okay? Um, also, I don't know how to spell Mishibishi logo, or I mean, I know how to spell logos, but I don't know how to spell Mishibishi, so cut me some slack on that in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll make it my New Year's resolution to learn how to spell Mishibishi, um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's try to solve for the Mishibishi logo. Um, and since the Mishibishi logo is red, we'll go ahead and try to solve um, for red first. Okay, so I always pick a color. We're going to pick red for this video. Um, we want to get, like, all of these red. So this green triangle should be red, this blue triangle should be red, and this yellow triangle should be red. So this is kind of trial and error. Let's just pick a side. Here is, here's a side right here. Let's try to get all the Mishibishi, let's try to get all the red on that side. Boom. Boom. So there's two. I just need to make this green red, and then we're good. But as you can see, this red is impossible to get where this green diamond is. The red diamond cannot go where the green diamond is because I can't turn the cube that way. Okay, so I know that this is not the, the red side. If you're familiar with a regular Rubik's Cube, you know which side is going to be what color because there's that center cube. That never changes. This is a little different. So we have to determine the correct side for each color first. Okay, and that's this Mishibishi step. So we know this is not the right side. So let's try to see if this is the correct side. So we can turn that there. We have two of them. And again, same situation. This is impossible to get over here where this yellow is. So we know these two sides that we're looking at right now are not the correct sides. So let's turn it around and look at the back side and try to get these red ones there. 
Oh, look. That's beautiful. That's the Mitsubishi logo right there. Okay, you can compare it as well. It's almost identical. Perfect. So we've done step two. And if it wasn't this side, then it would have been the bottom side where we had to flip all of them together. All right. Um, so now step three, moving on, solve one layer. Okay. And what I, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a layer, this bottom section here. And we're going to try to solve this layer first. Um, I should backtrack one second. Try to get your cube to where you have the Mishibishi logo in every color. So we have it in red, we have it in green, we have it in yellow, and we have it in blue. If you didn't, you just needed to turn this one more time. So make sure you have the Mishibishi logo everywhere. And then solve one layer. So let's look at this for a second. And we can see this is yellow blue, but it should be red yellow. Right? Oh, sorry, I lost my Mishibishi logo. And that'll help you a little bit. So here's yellow Mishibishi. So I know this is the yellow side. So I want this to be red, yellow, red, yellow. Let's see if I can find the red, yellow somewhere on this pyramid. Uh, there it is. Here's red, yellow. So let's try to get this back into uh, a good position to where I can put it here. So I like to always keep um, my red Mishibishi logo or this color that I, the layer that I'm solving for first kind of on the on my left side. Okay, this is the personal preference. Left side. It makes the algorithms or just makes it easier in my mind. So let's try to position this uh, red yellow. I lost it. There it is. Up in the top right corner. And what I want to do is replace this cube with this cube. And that's very easy to do. You flip this down. So that's an F. And then you flip this down. That just replaced it. And then you flip it up. And perfect. Not perfect, but you see, that's where I wanted it to go. Um, but this is flipped. See, this is yellow red, not red, red yellow. It's in the correct spot, it's just backwards. So, to fix this, here's the same situation we had. You want to reorientate your cube, except for the Mishibishi logos on the left right now, put it on the right. So, it's just doing this. Now it's on the right, okay? And then find your red yellow cube which should be right here and then instead of turning right you want to flip this left replace it with your red yellow right here and then flip it back up and you see now it's the right orientation so i like to keep it on the left hand side like uh as, as often as i can so there's the perfect example of one uh time where you're gonna have to flip the orientation a little bit no big deal okay Here's green yellow. I mean, sorry, green red. Here's green red. And we know it belongs right here. So let's put it in the top right. Now let's flip this down. Now let's flip this and replace it. And then we'll flip it back up. And that time it worked great. And had it come in green red, then I would have just had to flip this like we did in the first step to where my red side or my Mishibishi red logo side was on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. And then do a left pop down replace. Okay. Now, last thing we need to do is find the red blue, which should be right here. Great. And now we'll pull this down and replace. And you see, again, it came in to the correct spot, but is backwards. So we can just do the same thing we just did to get it out. Okay. Now let's put our red side on the right hand side. And then we'll put this top left instead of top right, and then we'll pop down what we want to replace. We want to replace the green yellow with our blue red and then pop it back up. And just like that, we have the first layer. Okay, and uh, now make sure you have Mishibishi logo on every side. So you see it wasn't, uh, I'm missing my blue Mishibishi logo. So we'll turn it till we get it. There we go, look at that. All right, that was step one, uh, three, solve one layer. Now step four is finish. Here's where the uh, algorithms that you need to know come into play for this particular um, puzzle. So as you can see, I have everything in the right spot except for these two. And they just need to be flipped. They're in the right spot, they just need to be flipped. Now, I call this last two. So if you come into this situation, all you have to do is this algorithm. Okay, so when you do this algorithm, 
you'll want to orientate the two wrong cubes on and keep them on the right hand side. This is probably why I like to have the Mitsubishi logo or like I like to orientate the side I'm trying to solve to the left because of this algorithm. You have to keep this to the right. So if you just always remember that, you just uh, you'll pretty much kind of it'll kind of work itself out. So here we go. Let's do this algorithm together. F R prime, which is counterclockwise. F prime, which is counterclockwise. R U, which is up. Oh, that's sorry. That's U prime. So this way, not the the way I started doing it. R U, and then R prime, and we've solved it which is terrific. But I wanna show you um, the situation where we get this three sides. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re repeat this algorithm we just did to get back into the situation we were just in. So, um, sorry, let me just, this might be a little out of, out of frame. Then R prime. Okay, so you can see this is where we just were. Now, if I want to get into this scenario, all I have to do is this algorithm, and I should end up there, I hope. And I messed it all up. Oh no. So, uh, let me see if I can quickly solve this again. Um, it might be good to just review. Step one, solve four corners. They're all solved. Step two, Mishibishi logo. There it is. Step three, get all these, uh, solve the center pieces to get the first layer. Um, red, green should go here. So flip this down immediately realize that's in the wrong spot, a right spot, but wrong um, orientation. So flip it to the right side. And replace. Next, um, this is red, yellow. Where's red, yellow? That goes here. So pop this down, replace. We're almost there. Now red, blue, pop this down, replace. And that solved the whole cube, look at that. Sometimes you don't even have a step four finish. Um, so let's see if I can get this three sides. So front, up, front, prime. Up, front, up, front, prime. And perfect, you see this? This is the scenario where you have the whole cube. I mean, everything's almost ready. You have the first layer. So that means, look, we've done step th one, two, three, finish. Three sides, you have three sides that are incorrect. Um, oh, sorry. Make sure you have a Mishibishi logo on each side. So you see, look, incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. So if you do this algorithm, then you should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it together real quick. F, U, F prime, U, F, U, and then F prime. Okay, that got us nowhere. And that's okay, sometimes you have to repeat this, I think. So F, U, F prime, U, and then same thing in F, uh, U, F prime. And that solved it. Sometimes, last thing to talk about is sometimes you'll do this algorithm, the three sides algorithm, and it won't solve the cube. You'll get to last two and you'll have to do that algorithm. So that's how you solve the Pyramix. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, you could be my 30th subscriber. I'm at 29 right now. So smash that subscribe button and uh, have a happy 2020, everybody.